Okay, let's continue where we left off with Brogue. Brogue just loves to kill you. It's a murdering SOB. And we're going to go in right now, and here we are. Look at this. Two beautiful potions. And we're just going to explore. There we go. Some healing right in the beginning. The first level is always very easy. Oh, but what was that? Let's go back over there. This is a very simple thing. What we want to do here is throw a dart onto the pressure plate. And that will open up. It should open up this, this gate right there. And it does. There we go. So there we go. We got a nice treasure room. And we have Death of Obstruction, Conjuration. We've got a War Pike, Empowerment, Scale Mail, and Chain Mail. Out of these, I probably like the Chain Mail because I should be able to find a potion of strength in the next few levels to be able to use this properly, and that will give us an armor rating of 5. And <clears throat> AC is very important in Brogue because it'll make the creatures miss you more often and the more they miss the more you stay alive now staff of conjuration is is not my favorite staff <clears throat> staff of obstruction can be useful but it's not not my favorite either wand of empowerment is good if you want to make your um, ally stronger and, and to learn from fallen foes but um, it's no guarantee that you even will find an ally in this game. And then War Pike is um, too much strength to use. So we're just going to go ahead and pick up the chain now. Okay, we're not going to wear it yet because our strength isn't high enough. Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue to search. We're going to go through here. Oh, there's a white potion. Okay. Kill some rats. Oh, whatever. Tan potion. Good. Got some potions. Oh, another one. Holy crap. Let's go back over there. Look at that. Ah. Oh. oh, we have to go all the way around like that, huh? All right, fine. We'll go all the way around. Let's get that done. We didn't see it the first time. Okay. So let's go ahead and throw another dart on this one. It's, it's not so common in this game to get two of these setups on one level. That's great. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what that opened up. We'll probably lift up the cage on this key. So that way it's not booby trapped. Okay. Now the water on the first levels are not going to have dangerous things like eels and krakens. So it's not so dangerous the first level. So now we got we're gonna use the key over here. Alright, let's get this rat and to open up this. And what do we have over here? We have a ring of reaping, a ring of transference, another door key, a spear, and a mace. A spear is very tempting to get because this will attack behind two, two enemies at once. The one that you're attacking and the one behind that enemy. And so in corridors, a spear can be very, very effective. Now, having said that, we don't know what this other key is going to be good for. In fact, I don't even see... Oh, there's the other door right here. So we don't know what's, what's over there. But we need a good weapon. And I think the spear is going to be good enough. See, if we take the key and use the key, we lose the key. And then we're risking everything on what is in this room. Now, there might be something good in this room, but we don't know if there's something good in this room. Whereas the spear is good. Now, the Ring of Reaping, this will charge your um, staffs and charms on each uh, damage and this is like a leeching effect okay so we're just going to take a, the spear because we can start using that right away well we'll wait for the, the we'll, we'll wait 
for this potion of strength. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and go to the next level. Okay, here we go. All right, defeated the jackal. Aha! We have over here. So that's thing. Okay, what's over here? Another potion. Again, we I don't open up the potions until bastard. A little dart at this monkey who just stole from me. I hate thieves. I hate thieves. Let's do that. Okay, we got we killed it. Did we? Where'd it go? Where's the thief? So if you want to see the history, click up here. Miss the monkey, miss the monkey. Okay, great. Where the hell did the monkey go? Oh, it pisses me off. No, don't want to dive in the depths. So the monkey went somewhere. Where the hell did the monkey go? Bastards. Oh, there it is. You are not going to get away from us this time, Mr. Monkey. We are going to slaughter you right now. Okay. Come on, Mr. Monkey. These darts suck. All right, there we go, finally. The Puce Potion. We could find out later what exactly he stole from us. Now, the funny thing about monkeys is they're not exactly very clever because just because they stole a potion from you doesn't mean that potion is any good. I mean, they could steal a potion that is a negative potion that if you drink it could kill you. So don't think that because they stole it that, that means that it's uh, something that's safe because it's not. And we could prove that to you in a bit when we drink that puce potion. Now we could start drinking the potions now, but I have a good feeling about this level, and I don't think I really need anything in my inventory to complete it. So we will just. And we killed that monkey back there. That was good. It's a plate armor. Plate armor I rarely use in these runs because you need so much strength to use them. So we have another chainmail T. So we don't want to use that one. See, the nice thing about the treasure room items is that you're not going to find cursed items in there. So now we got two chainmail. And if, if I screwed up and I maybe equipped this chainmail and not this one from the treasure room, you know, there's a chance that it could be cursed. So. You want to make sure to use it. And generally, they give you a letter. The early letters are going to be the items that you've had in your inventory the longest, and the later letters are going to be the items that you picked up most recently. Okay, Jackal. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we're going to go now to the next level, and now we're going to start actually using our inventory items. Um, starting with depth number four. Let's see what's here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go our inventory. We're going to drink our blue potion. Let's see what that is. Purple gas. Don't want that. <laughs> okay, oops. There we go. So... That can be handy if you are throwing it at somebody. <laughs> okay, 
I'll just go ahead and continue to explore. No, but we don't want to open up another potion right now because we don't want a potion of incineration. But you know what? We'll try. You know that... Um, actually, we don't want to drink a potion right next to a door. So we usually want to find a nice dead end. Okay, yeah. Here we go. We're going to heal up here first. And we can go back over here to open up our next potion. Just in case you open up a potion of par paralysis or something, we want to not be in a position where we're going to be attacked. But let's open up this pews. This is the potion the monkey stole from us. Let's see, what did he steal from us? See, it was a potion of hallucination. So, <laughs> not a huge... <laughs> we don't really care that the monkey stole this from us, but by drinking this now, early in the game, we will never be have to drink a potion of hallucination again because now it's identified. So it's no longer going to appear as a puce potion. It's now going to be appearing as a potion of hallucination if we find that same potion. But let's try these other potions. we got the turquoise potion. We'll apply that. Telepathy. Okay, so this will tell us where the other creatures are. Unfortunately, because we're hallucinating before the potion of telepathy, none of these letters are are basically anything <laughs> that is recognizable because because we are hallucinating so nothing is as it seems all right we're gonna go to the next one mauve potion let's go ahead and apply a potion of confusion okay so we got two of these potions of confusion so i'm just going to hit search and hopefully we're not going to get attacked when we're confused and so we're just going to wait for our bar here to go down there we go. Search, 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 search. Okay. And these X's over here in the water, those are going to be eels. So we have two eels in that big lake. All right, so what other potion do we have here? Um, potion of life. Okay, that's helpful. What else we got? So potion of life will increase your health by 33% and also get rid of any negative effects to your health and to your condition. Now, if we drink that while we're, so we drink that while we are hallucinating, so we're not hallucinating anymore, but we are telepathic still. All right, potion to detect magic. That's what the one I always like to see early. So this will show us. So it looks like that newest chainmail actually was, um, was good. So the first one from the treasure room isn't as good. This one is. So um, as soon as we get some strength, we'll, we'll wear that. See, is this a potion of strength? No. Wow, normally we'd have a potion of strength by now. Okay. All right, no worries. We still need a potion of strength. That's what really sucks. Because this is so random in this game, if you don't get a potion of strength, you literally can die. I mean, it's completely possible in this game not to find a potion of strength for like the first 12 levels. It's totally possible for that to happen. And if that's the case, if you're on level 12 and your strength is low, you're pretty much dead because you can't work at armor, you can't have good weapons, and so you're just going to be working off an enchanted um, dagger. All right, so here we go. We've got some um, jelly, which they multiply when you attack. So you're always going to lose some health in the beginning because the dagger doesn't give a lot of damage. But there we go. we got a bunch of potions in here. So one of these has got to be the strength, I hope. Let's see. What is this? Oh, no. They're all bad potions. So we still don't have a potion of strength. That's really going to piss me off if we can't find a potion of strength soon. What's this over here? We'll find out in a sec. We need a potion of strength. And we don't want to attack if we don't need to. That's a scroll. Okay. So literally there is 
nothing on this level that's any good. So we might as well just find the staircase and go. There might be some unenchanted stuff on here that would be useful, like food. But we're not even going to bother with this level. We're just going to go to the next one. Don't like this level. Alright, so we got still got telepathic as well. So we can, that's the advantage of going to the next level where we still have telepathy. Because we can see immediately what we're dealing with on this level. So as you can see, we've got um, goblins and a goblin totem over here, which we could probably avoid that room. This goblin totem, the, the hallucinogenic toad, the jelly that multiplies, a monkey that steals stuff, another goblin, and another couple. So to the right, it looks like it's much more easy. So we're just going to go to the right first. And we're going to eat a food first. And if we wanted to, we could actually, you know what we could do? It's a bit of a risk for food. But what we could do is go up and exchange our earlier chainmail for another item. Because it's not really that much higher to go back to the treasure room. So we're going to do that. We can get past this eel. All right, good. We got past the eel. So that's an eel on depth two. That's an early eel. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the treasure room and we're gonna replace the chain mail. And where do we find that chain mail? Where was it? Was it in this room or this room? Sometimes memory can not be. I think it was in this room. So we're just gonna go up there. We're going to drop our earlier train mill, just drop it, and that will, oh, that didn't work. So maybe it's not there. Maybe it's in this one. This one? Come on, I hope that's gonna work. So we're gonna drop our chain mill. That's, not magic. There we go. So the cages stay off the altar. So we could take one of these other staffs. And I'm thinking that if I have a choice between the staff of conjuration and the staff of obstruction, I think the staff of obstruction is probably better. Mm hmm. Yeah. We'll go with the stuff of obstruction. That could be good for, for escape. Now the problem with the stuff of obstruction is that you need some distance in order to properly use it. Otherwise, you get entombed yourself. Whereas the stuff of conjuration will create damage and also the phantom blades can also create a um it make it difficult so actually you know, because we don't have any ranged combat i think i'm going to go ahead and get the stuff of, of conjuration because that can that can slow monsters down from from chasing you and um it's not really good in the late game but in the we're still in the early game now so we're just gonna get that. All right, we're gonna go back, go back down. Okay. And both of those stabs aren't the most amazing things in the world, but they're better than having a chainmail. That we already have a better chainmail, so we don't need it. That's when you go down, down, down. All right, here we go. So what do we have over here? Uh oh. Mr. Jelly. Okay, let's go ahead and kill you, Mr. Jelly. Uh huh. Okay. Three potions of telepathy. So we could use the potion of telepathy now. We got three of them. But this level is so easy. 
and undangerous. We've already seen that there's not any dangerous monsters. Now, it, what, what was frightening at this stage, the monster I wouldn't want to see would be like a ogre. And when you get deeper, you don't want to see krakens and <laughs> trolls and the Ds, which are these um, sword fighters. And there's some pretty nasty monsters when you get deeper. And of course, when you get even much deeper, you get dragons. And dragons will breathe fire at you, and they're immune to fire, and they're even tough to melee. When you see dragons, it's like, you know, that could be instant that could be instant death if you're not prepared. Alright, let's see what else we got over here. Here's the hallucinogenic toad. Yep, we're gonna hallucinate again. Okay, what's over here? Search. Yeah, nothing's dangerous down here. We already checked that out before. And unfortunately, nothing dangerous, but it doesn't seem like there's anything worth getting either, though. That sucks. Alright, this level really sucks. Well, it looked like there was an area down here. Oh, there's a door here. Potion of Confusion. Oh, come on. There's a monkey sleeping. No, it's not sleeping. Doesn't matter. Killed it. Yeah, what a boring level. This level sucked. Alright, let's go to the next level. What do we have in inventory? Well, we still have these potions, which we're going to use as kind of AOE fate and crowd control. But we still haven't gotten a single potion of strength, and we're already at depth six. Normally, we've had at least a potion or two of strength by depth, by, by this deep in the game. So this is a real handicap right now. Not having potion of strength is a real handicap because we're going to start facing more difficult creatures. Now, we could use a potion of telepathy right now, but it looks like this setup is pretty open. So, yeah, to be safe, I would be using a potion of telepathy, and maybe I am not wise for not using it right now. But... but I'm just saving it because I don't feel so threatened. Cool, I got the Goblin Mystic. That's awesome. All right. I got that one too. Wow, just took out the whole clan of goblins just because they didn't see me. That's an advantage of having um, like armor that's leather armor, because you can really sneak around. So in theory, you can beat the game on low armor if you're sneaking around, you've got like rings of stealth. It's just a very different game. And if you turn a corner and you're face to face with something, they could hit like one hit you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw the darts at the monkey bastard. We could also use the Staff of Conjuration if we wanted to. But the dart works. Arrow turret. And we still have that Staff of Conjuration, so... Yeah, this is a... This is a situation for Staff of Conjuration. The Acid Mound, because... The Acid Mound will degrade you and, and weaken your armor if it hits you and weaken your weapon if you use a weapon to hit it. So this is a good use of the Staff of Conjuration. So we're gonna apply the Staff of Conjuration to the Acid Mound and hopefully 
that can kill the acid mount. And it did. Good. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and search or go to the continue to explore. Scarlet Potion. So we should use one of these potions. We should use something. So what we're going to do is we're going to equip the spear. Even though we're really not strong enough to use it. We'll equip the chainmail even though we're not strong enough to use it properly. Because we want to use the scrolls. And we do that because if we get a... Um, a chant protect weapon or protect armor we don't want it to protect our weak armor and our weak weapon we want to have it use our magic armor magic weapon so that's anti-magic okay so we know what that is now what is this one scroll of identify okay so typically I like to identify staves even though we know what they do we don't know how many charges we have left on them if unless they're in identified so now we know that that has three of three and as we use it it'll show how many charges we have left uh, what else we got the scroll here let's apply that one the scroll of enchantment okay so in this situation I probably would just enchant the staff of conjuration because that will make it more effective because if you look now six blades will be called into service and if the staff is enchanted again this will increase to seven blades so not only does it give it an additional charge it makes it more powerful so now we've got six blades that will come into service okay so now we got that potion so hopefully this is a potion of strength so we're going to try using it right now of course, it may not be. It could be a potion of speed. It could be a potion of, of paralysis. It could be a whole bunch of things. What is it? It is a, scroll, a potion of invisibility. So we're invisible, which isn't very effective in our situation right now. And I think we've pretty much explored this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next level to try to get as much use out of our invisibility. So now we're invisible so we could sneak up on monsters. And we did, sneaking up on that monster doesn't help us at all because that will just take us down to the next level, which maybe we'll just have to do anyway. So we'll fall down to the next level. And now we're invisible. We're still invisible, but we're, our invisibility is going to is going to disappear very shortly. And I don't know if we're going to be able to sneak up on the centipede before our invisibility goes out completely. I think we still have enough. So we're going to go ahead and assassinate it in its sleep. But, <laughs> but unfortunately, it didn't assassinate it completely because we weren't equipped with the dagger. The dagger deals quintuple damage on a successful sneak attack and we forgot to switch back to the dagger oh, fuck and so we are negative one strength right now which sucks because it takes quite a long time for this negative effect to but we gotta put our, our leather armor back on as, as well Shit. You know, it's mistakes like that that can basically kill you in this game. We need to find the up staircase because we're on depth 8. To be safe, we're going to use a potion of telepathy. Things are getting dangerous now. Yeah, look at that. Ogre. That's what we don't want to find. So we want to find the up staircase. And it's probably going to be in the same room as that friggin' ogre. Alright, and we got these goblins harassing us. Damn it. It's our weakened, in our weakened state. 
shit. I don't like this. We do have a potion of life. And that will take away the weakened state. We have the Staff of Conjuration. So we're going to go ahead and use the Staff of Conjuration. We're going to attack the Goblin Mystic. Yeah. Okay. That should help. And we're just going to search. No one's attacking me yet. Well, they're not going to attack me. Because I'm in the doorway. Goblins don't like to approach doorways. So if I go through the doorway, they may not they may not follow me. So we'll try that. Maybe they won't follow. Yeah, the jackal will follow. But the goblins aren't gonna follow because they're gonna think it's a choke point and that we're gonna slaughter them. So they're gonna wait outside the doorway. Unfortunately, we're trapped in here. If we don't have a potion of levitation or some way to burn through walls, we are trapped in here. So we have to go up. So we can use the Staff of Conjuration again, which, by the way, we already have four charges. Why does it charge up so fast? That's so amazing. How does it charge up so fast? Oh, crap. Come on. So they did come through that door. Okay. They're coming through the door. So we're just gonna, there we go. Got it, and it left a staff. Awesome. Oh, crap. So, I think at this point we're going to use a potion of life, or only one. But, actually, wait. Also, too, though, if you click on the goblin, it'll tell you. So, this says 46% chance to hit you and could defeat you in two hits. So, it can't defeat me in one hit, which means I still have another hit on him, so I'm going to do that. Boom. But now it could defeat me in one hit. And so now we want to use the Potion of Life. There we go. So now we're used that. Okay, and we got a wanted staff. That's awesome. So we don't know what the staff does yet, but we have a staff. Alright, so we just got hit by a totem. I'm going to go through the door, and that should keep them from going in there. We can try out what our new staff does right now. So we're going to apply that staff, hit the monkey, and it's a staff of poison. Okay. Staff of poison is not very strong, but it, it keeps stealth. So he's hit, but he doesn't know that I'm here yet. He's just wandering. We'll hit the other goblin as well. Might as well. In fact, let's find out how many charges this has got. Alright, out of charges. So it's got two charges in total. See, when the Festaff fizzles, you know how many charges it has. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the bunky. Boom. See, it's damaged, but it still doesn't know that I'm here. So, the Staff of Poison is a very good stealth. You could be hiding in the shadows and zapping it, and people could just be dying with none the wiser. So it's a really good stealth weapon. Okay, cool, we have a whip. We still can't really use the whip, because our strength is still low. We still haven't found a single potion of strength, and we're on depth 8. Now keep in mind, we still want to go up. So there we go. There's the up staircase. And it looks like 
those are probably eels in water, maybe, because they're X's. It means they're probably submerged or hiding. So it looks like to get to escape this level, we're gonna have to, it's gonna be hard. It might be a little bit difficult. And of course we have a tell up of a toe which is gonna make us hallucinate. So now we're hallucinating. Yeah. Let's hope they're eels and not bog monsters. So we're in, in a swamp, so this is all swamp gas. You know what, we're going to use a staff of conjuration. I don't trust this. We're on depth eight. I mean, it's possible that it, they could be, they could be bog monsters. It's possible. Shit. we do here? We have invisibility now. So we're just going to try to sneak through and hope that we're not going to be attacked by whatever these fuckers are. Okay. That's good. We made it out. Okay, now coming back when we have to deal with those, but at least we can go back to depth seven and finish exploring this and hopefully find a potion of strength. We need to eat some food. Oh, will free up some, uh, inventory slot. So you have limited inventory, unfortunately. Okay, whatever. I guess we're gonna have to hallucinate again. Oh, scroll of enchanting. So I think we'll go ahead and use the scroll of enchanting, maybe. Or we could use stuff, potion of telepathy. No, we don't really need to do that. Scroll of negation. Hmm. Well, we could use a scroll of enchanting on the staff of poison. That would make it so that. If it's enchanted, it would be poisoned for six turns. The staff of poison is just is just so freaking weak. I'm never happy with that. It's probably better just to enchant the chainmail. All right, fine. We'll equip the chainmail temporarily. We'll remember to unequip it this time. Equip this here. And there we go. And now we can need a scroll. All right. Sanctuary, that is not useful right now. Remove curse, we have two of those, so if, so we could use it later. And protect armor, okay, cool. So we have protect armor, so if we're attacked by acid now, our armor won't degrade. What's that one do? Scroll recharging, okay. So we have that, so again, because our strength isn't high enough, we're gonna have to equip leather armor and also equip the dagger again okay come on potion of strength come on potion of strength where are you okay time to use the staff of conjuration on the acid mound Uh-huh. He's also using stuff with poison on as well. And let's do a double conjuration. Yes, and now, because we don't want to degrade our weapon is the thing. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty much done. Let's explore. Oh, another bloat. But is that... Is going to be a potion of strength over here? No, it's a potion of hallucination. Damn it. Yeah, let's give lots of hallucination. Let's not bother with actual things that we need. Damn. I hate this. See, that's what sucks about this. That's the only thing that sucks about this game. The main thing is that it's so random. 
there's no guarantee that you're going to get a potion of strength. Ever. In the entire game. It's random. It doesn't, you know, it, it, like we just got another potion of telepathy. So we've had four potions of telepathy in this game and not a single potion of strength. And I think telepathy is actually, could be more rare than the potion of strength. All right, fine. What can we do now? So we can use a scroll of identify on the staff of poison. So we'll know how many charges we have left on that. We could use, we could do that. Could do that. No, we don't need the potion of hallucination is useless. We'll just get rid of that. Drop that, and we have a rapier. So rapier can be good if you're attacking somebody two tiles away because that will do a lunge attack that never misses and does like quintuple damage or something. So rapier can be quite a oh, good weapon situation situationally. <sighs> We're gonna take a break here after this level and <sighs> So that centipede that we just passed, it will sap your strength. So I hate centipedes. Especially when you don't have decent armor. Because all of these monsters can hit us so hard right now. We're hardly protected at all. Because we can't use our good armor because we don't have strength yet. This really sucks. Come on, strength. I mean, that's what's kind of weird. It's like you can't, you don't get strength naturally by like leveling up. There's nothing... Um, there's nothing that's all right, fine. Conjuration apply hit that centipede. Okay. Again. That centipede. Cool. Died. So we could do the same thing with the toad, but I'm not, I don't really care about the hallucination as much as I care about my strength being sapped. All right. Let's see, we're almost finished with this. Damn it. And that's it. There's still no potion of strength, and we're on depth seven. So it looks like someone stole, I mean, someone attacked me and killed my blade. But that's okay. So we still have our blades here, but we don't have our potion of, of, um, Hallucination active. So we're going to use a post of, of telepathy, I mean, so we can see where these monsters are. Because we don't know what they are. Because they're, they're hiding. They could be bog monsters. They could be eels. I hope they're not bog monsters. So anyway, we, we went through and we escaped that. So post of telepathy saved our butt there. What's over here? What's this? Fire immunity. Ogre. Warhammer. Now, in this situation, because we don't have potions of strength yet, if we have to face that ogre, well, we don't have to face the ogre. We don't have to face the ogre. So, we'll just look up here real quick because we, you know, we know that these two are the only monsters in this corner. So we're just going to see if there's any other thing useful up here. It doesn't look like there is. So there, if there's a potion of strength up here, we don't know. 
we could go over there. Okay, so we can see now, because we can look and follow this jelly, and we can see what this jelly sees, and we can see if it's even worth it for us to go over there, and it doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's, this. there's no potions of strength in this level, unless if there's one over here. But I don't think it's a, it's a good use of time to endanger ourselves. Oh, another friggin' ogre? Oh crap. So now we're gonna back up because the ogre is gonna come out. Fuck. Does the ogre see us yet? No, it doesn't see us yet. But we could see us very soon. This sucks. See, we shouldn't have to face an ogre. So we're going to throw one of our potions at it. Ah, that was a potion of descent. So we don't have to deal with him on this level, but he's going to be on the next level. <laughs> level 9. So he just went down to level 9. So we have to face him on level 9. Okay, we could do the same thing and get rid of these goblins, but we don't need to. We can just we could just escape like that. And they're not gonna follow us. At least not right away. Okay. So let's hope that on the next depth level, we're going to find something more interesting. So this is why I say that not every game is winnable, because I don't feel like I've really made a lot of mistakes in this game. Having said that, let's get this vamp out of the way of this vampire bat. But we could lose this game for the simple fact that we don't have a potion of strength. <coughs> All we need is one potion of strength, and we'll be able to use our chainmail, our magic chainmail, which should help us a tremendous amount. We'll go ahead and poison this. No, we didn't poison it. Whatever. I guess we can throw a dart at it. One more. Dart. Boom. Okay. Potion of Strength, where are you? Depth 9. Crap. So, because it's so dangerous, we're going to use another Potion of Telepathy. As you can see, we're seeing a lot of ogres on this level. And we don't even see any Potions of Strength yet. There's an acid mound. So we're going to use a step of conservation on it. There we go. Got rid of the acid mound. We could attack the acid mound, but then we degrade our weapon. So we don't have our weapon protected yet. Our chainmail is protected, or our spear, one of those two. It's not showing which one. Okay. Crimson Potion. Now, this could be our Potion of Strength. Let's hope it's our Potion of Strength. Is it? No. Potion of Levitation. So we have ogres coming, ogre and a jelly coming from our rear. So we're gonna go through like that. Fire immunity. Hmm. 
we could go down or we could press our luck on this level a bit more not oh crap that's an ogre okay so there's still gases so it's going to keep the ogre out of that room <sighs> this really sucks The thing is when the gases are in a room, it takes forever sometimes for it to dissipate. Oh my god! We're like totally trapped until that room dissipates. Uh-huh. See the jellies turn around because they don't want to go into the poison room either. So we're in a dead end. And we're going to run out of tele telepathy potion. All right, there we go. Now. Killed him as a sneak attack. This is a normal pink goo jelly. Hmm. Don't like having to kill things, but can't believe there's no postal strike. This is so fucked up. Where's my potion of strength? Damn it. We're gonna have to face an ogre pretty soon. Oh no, paralytical gas. See, this is a bad situation. If there was a a um creature, I could have just died right there. Those traps can be so annoying. Like uh, we're on depth nine. Things get a lot more serious the deeper you go. Oh, post of telepathy just ended. Crap. Well, that sucks. All right, we're face to face now with an ogre who can kill us in three hits. because our potion of telepathy ran out and opened the door face to face with an ogre. Damn it. All right, so this is where the Staff of Conjuration can come into handy because that can give us some time to escape. But unfortunately, we're in a dead end. So we're going to go down in here This is paralytic gas. Anyway, we go ahead and stop conjuration, apply, hit the ogre. And we're going to just go around the ogre and escape. There we go. So the Staff of Conjuration is actually quite useful. We're going to keep trying to find that potion of strength. It's not here. And there's also some healing over there. 
Now, we could use this type of conjuration in the corridor, but that actually helps the ogre because we want our blades to surround the ogre so that he gets attacked on all, like all sides. So, oops. So now what we're gonna do is tap of conjuration, apply, hit the ogre, boom. That should actually kill it. I'll just sit here and watch. It's gonna kill it, maybe. Yeah, it's dead. Awesome, Staff of Conjuration, you are much better than I thought you were. Oh, oh. I need to use the Staff of Conjuration again. In fact, I think we're going to use a Scroll of Enchanting on the Staff of Conjuration. And then apply to the Ogre. Meanwhile, we're going to go up here, get the jelly from the doorway. Oh crap, the ogre just beat its way through. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to back up give us some space now because we want to give more room for the staff of conjuration to do its work Should eat a food oh god there's a mango left Crap. See, that's the other thing, too. We could just die of starvation now. Because <sighs> we just ate our last food. If we don't find more food, we're going to die of starvation. This is what makes this game so insane. Alright, let's hit another staff of conjuration. Get this guy. Alright, so we're just going to but hopefully One more stuff of conjuration okay I think it's gonna kill it yes yes baby and we hardly even lost any health at all this is so awesome Okay, we don't even need to use that blood war pot, pod. Okay. Come on, we still don't have a potion of strength. We still don't have the food. And the ogre just saw us. Damn it. Well, can poison it a couple of times. Okay. And we can put stuff of conjuration on it now. this point I think we're just going to escape <gasps> no we didn't want to do that we should have went up here now, do these follow in cores they avoid attacking in cores so we could go in here. Okay. All right, we are now going to go down to depth number 10 and we're going to cut this 
we're going to make a cut right now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the first 10 levels, and we will continue this.